I hate feeling this way about Thomas. Questioning every single move that he makes. He's earned it, Brooke. After what he did, lying about Beth all that time? No one should ever trust that lowlife again. I certainly won't. It's a relief to hear somebody else say that. Oh, uh, let me guess. You're tired of listening to uh, the dressmaker defend him all day long. I mean, Thomas is Rich's son, so I understand why he'd want to defend him. I just wish he would open his eyes a little bit. Yeah, well, good luck with that. A blind man could see what Thomas is about before Ridge will. I'm not interested in bashing Ridge. I'm, I, I don't want to bash Ridge. Thomas, I, I want to bash. In the head. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> the truth is, I came to see you. Right, I heard about this wedding, and I wanted to check on you, see how you were doing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have been feeling very lonely lately. Everybody just has blinders on. You know, Ridge, and Eric, my daughter even, and she's been hurt the most. And she's refusing to see the warning signs. I know it's been frustrating the hell out of Liam. Well, he's the other one who understands everything completely. And no matter how much we tell everybody that Thomas needs help, nobody wants to listen. What do you mean nobody finds it the least bit suspicious? I, I mean, he, he's obsessed about Hope. He lies to her about her daughter. He tricks her into a marriage. And then the next thing you know, he, he's in a relationship with Zoe. Well, everybody seems to think that he's on the right path. He's doing all this to get over hope, and Ridge even thinks that it's healthy. Oh, Ridge is a moron. It doesn't matter how many times I tell him how concerned I am. He ignores your feelings. Your, your legitimate, understandable concerns are just brushed aside. Yeah, and that's not okay. Not when my daughter's safety is at stake. 